Stunning new details tonight into a criminal case that rocked the valley. Mark Godot, also known as the baseline killer, terrorized South Phoenix. He was convicted of nine murders in that case and over a dozen sexual assaults. As Team 12's Charlie Edsity reports, Phoenix police say they've now added another victim to that list. The terror and heinous criminal acts of Mark Goudot, also known as the baseline killer, now goes back all the way to 1985, according to Phoenix police. That's 20 years before the string of crimes that would land him on death row. So over 30 years ago, there was a 22 year old woman about 11 o'clock at night. The victim was sitting inside her car near this intersection at 36th Street and Oak. That's when the suspect at gunpoint forced her to drive to a nearby location, and that is where he sexually assaulted her. Uh, the case was vigorously investigated at the time. There was physical evidence uh, analyzed with the available technology at that time, but it did not lead to a suspect. DNA analysis technology didn't come along until the mid 1990s. In the meantime, this case went cold. It wasn't until 2013 that a detective reviewing the case found evidence that was still preserved and submitted it for testing. In 2016, we received a positive hit linking that crime from 1985 to a man that we now know, Mark Goudot, as the baseline killer. The victim no longer lives in the state, but was notified by telephone of the DNA match. Goudot can't be convicted in the case because the statute of limitations expired in 1990. This case is one of many the department is re-examining for DNA evidence, work being done with the hope of finding some closure for victims and more answers. It will not surprise me if we find additional victims attributed to him. Charlie Edsity, 12 News.